Welcome to Inside Gaming. I'm Brian. It's the Weekend Roundup. Let's go. So we saw this week that Sony rolled out a lot of first party and exclusive games. Well, some of those are just timed exclusives, but whatever. They rolled out a lot of stuff for the PlayStation 5. But what about the Xbox Series X? We know that Microsoft has been hyping up Game Pass, various other services. They still need games though, right? They still need some exclusives. Well, an Xbox spokesperson kind of made it sound like they're okay if they don't have a lot of exclusives, at least not at first. This comes from Xbox representative Cindy Walker, who spoke with the New York Times for an article about the upcoming next-gen consoles. And yes, they even used the phrase console wars in the headline. What is this, the GameSpot forums of 2009? I'm just saying. So Walker spoke about the delay of Halo Infinite and said, having Halo at our launch would have been tremendous. But they added, we are not reliant on massive exclusive titles to drive console adoption. Our players will have thousands of games from four generations of Xbox available to play on launch day. Yeah, why would you need new games when you got all these old ones to play? You kids love working through your backlogs, right? Just saying, y'all love this. Where's everybody going? Obviously, Walker was referring to Game Pass and the backwards compatibility that has been such a focus by Microsoft. They've done a great job with that, and she's right. There will be a ton of stuff to play on the Series X and the Series S on day one. That's a welcome break from all previous console generations when you had to start off with a brand new machine and rebuild the library from scratch. That really sucked. Then again, games are important. I hate exclusives, but they're what made the PS4 such a big success and they're what Sony is counting on to help move PS5s. Microsoft knows this too. That's why they've been on a studio buying spree the last few years. But Walker's comments are yet another indicator that Microsoft is trying to play a new game this generation, no pun intended, the value and services game, rather than just, you can only play these exclusives here. It'll be interesting to see if exclusives can work again for Sony this generation, or if gamers will go for a console that's more like an all-you-can-eat buffet. The Xbox is kind of like the Golden Corral, the Sizzler, something like that. I don't know, but there's no doubt it will have a lot more stuff to play at launch, but you'll need some exclusives too. I'm just saying, you'll need some games to play. All right, we'll get to the rest of the stories in a second, but first, guys, let's talk about RTX at home. It's going on right now. It's presented by AT&T. Thanks to AT&T 5G, we're able to bring an awesome RTX straight to you in the comfort of your own home. AT&T's 5G network is now available nationwide. Whether you're at home or on the go, you'll enjoy coverage in more places. Plus, AT&T doesn't make it complicated. 5G access is included in all Best Consumer Unlimited plans at no extra cost. Join us for RTX at home, for virtual panels from your favorite shows. We've got one next Tuesday. It's in just a few days now for IG. Uh, there's podcasts, a whole bunch of exclusive merch drops and more, all without putting on real pants and all thanks to AT&T. For more information on AT&T 5G, visit att.com slash 5G. Let's do the rest of the story. So we've heard a lot about a more powerful Switch coming next year, and now Nintendo kind of confirmed it. Company officials said in a recent investors briefing that in the future, Nintendo still plans to expand its business around the creation of unique integrated hardware software products. And they also showed a slide that alluded to an integrated hardware software next gaming system coming in 20XX sometime in the next 20 years. I Oh no. So yeah, just right around the corner. Of course, the word is that a new version of the Switch that will be able to deliver graphics in 4K is coming next year in 2021. But this is the first time that Nintendo has alluded to a possible, uh, it's not really a successor, like a, a new Switch, I think is what they're going for. Speaking of the Switch, did y'all see that direct this week? Monster Hunter Rise looked pretty awesome. All right, you might remember seeing a new game set in the Harry Potter universe, Hogwarts Legacy, that was shown off at the PS5 showcase kind of raised some eyebrows given J.K. Rowling's very questionable behavior as of late, specifically her attitudes and tweets towards transgender people. It's also raised some concerns behind the scenes that developer Avalanche, which is working on the game, might not necessarily want to be associated with J.K. Rowling. Well, publisher Warner Brothers addressed her involvement or lack of in an FAQ about the game, saying that Rowling won't be directly involved in the creation of the game. 
Yeah, they're like, oh, she got nothing to do with this, except she just wrote the whole universe <laughs> that we're putting this game in. It added, JK Rowling is not directly involved in the creation of the game. However, her extraordinary body of writing is the foundation of all projects in the wizarding world. This is not a new story from JK Rowling. The game, of course, is set before the events of the Harry Potter books and is due out next year. Ubisoft gave us an update on Beyond Good and Evil 2, saying we can expect some... Uh, maybe some gameplay next year. This comes after the franchise's creator, Michael Ansel, who also created Rayman, announced that he is retiring from the games industry, but senior producer Guillaume Brunier gave us an update on the game, saying that while Ansel will be leaving the team, he hasn't been directly involved in Beyond Good and Evil 2 for some time now. He added that we recently passed an important internal milestone, delivering a build that proves our space pirate fantasy and offers hours of gameplay and an incredible level of freedom in a seamless online sandbox, building on the promise of our tech demos shown at E3. They're still hiring for the game's development team though, so there's still some work to be done. He said their next milestone is they're aiming to share more and show you the game in action sometime next year once we pass our next internal production milestones. Now it's time to say goodbye to one of the last true handhelds, the 3DS. RIP, we knew this was coming. It's here. Nintendo confirmed to Polygon they've stopped making the system. Pretty much a foregone conclusion after the Switch debuted. Uh, the 3DS, of course, it launched back in 2011. While it was never as popular as DS, had a lot of great games. Its family of systems went on to sell more than 75 million units. Not bad. Most popular game, Mario Kart 7, no surprise. And of course, Three Pokemon series, X and Y, Sun and Moon, and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Pour one out for the 3DS and its many, 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 many offspring. They had a good run. All right, time for a five second review. Wait, I think I played all these before. Like these exact versions. All right, let's talk about the games coming out next week in 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Uncover the truth and delve into a 2D side-scrolling adventure featuring gorgeous art and environments. Then the battle the Kaiju in fast-paced top-down combat. Customize the Sentinels with an arsenal of mech suit weaponry and fight to defend humanity. The game comes from Vanillaware, the stories behind Odin Spear and Dragon's Crown, as they craft a sci-fi mystery epic spanning 13 intertwining stories. That's a lot of stories to intertwine. It comes to the PS4 September 22nd. Unrailed is a co-op multiplayer game where you have to work together with your friends to build a train track across endless procedurally generated worlds. Master random encounters with its inhabitants, upgrade your train, and keep it from derailing. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch September 23rd. Going Under is a satirical dungeon crawler. <laughs> We're really dungeon crawling. <laughs> about exploring the, that's more of a mocking dungeon crawler. Anyway, it's about exploring the cursed ruins of failed tech startups. <laughs> As an unpaid intern in the dystopian city of Neo Cascadia, you'll wield office junk as weaponry as you make your way through the offbeat procedural dungeon beneath your company campus. Battle through the remains of failed startups themed off of gig workers, dating sites, and cryptocurrency. Uncover the true motives of your employer, probably to make money. A carbonated drink startup known as Fizzle and their parent company, a subscription box manufacturer with an army of helpful shipping drones. Make friends with your coworkers. Hire a freelance goblin, data slime, invest in crypto, set a ride share on fire. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch September 24th. In Little Big Workshop, imagine a magical factory appearing right in your living room. A carefully planned masterpiece where diligent workers throw together anything consumers want. Rubber ducks and dressers, drones, electric guitars, scooters, and other wonderful goods can be created from many different materials and sold for cash. Cash you invest back into the factory to get more machines, more workers, and grow your business. Capitalism. Ugh. In Little Big Workshop, you become a factory tycoon. It comes to Xbox One September 23rd. Rip Them Off is a new puzzle game of economic management and tower defense. The board needs profit, and it's up to you to line the streets with shops the masses can't resist. All these games seem to have a common theme this week. Choose your locations, pick your stores, and earn your way up the corporate ladder, and it's increasingly difficult challenges. It comes to PC September 24th. 
Serious Sam 4 reignites the classic FPS series in a high-powered prequel loaded with an explosive arsenal, intergalactic carnage, and perfectly timed one-liners. Humanity is under siege as the full force of Mentals' hordes spread across the world, ravaging what remains of a broken and beaten civilization. The last remaining resistance to the invasion is the Earth Defense Force, led by Sam Sirius Stone and his heavily armed squad of misfit commandos. Crow Team returns with a high power prequel that scales up chaos to unprecedented levels. The classic Sirius Sam formula is revamped by putting an unstoppable arsenal against an unimaginable number of enemies that requires players to circle strafe and backpedal blast their way out of impossible situations. It comes to PC and Stadia September 24th. Tears of Avia is a turn-based strategy and tactics game set in the beautiful world of Estera. Estera, once a proud and thriving world, is torn by war between two large city-states, Tyrig, the largest military in the land who praised the gods, and the city-state Helmgar, the godless heretics to the north. I like those guys. Build your party and venture forth to discover the secrets behind ancient, long-abandoned cities and decide where your own morality ultimately lies in this turn-based strategy game. It comes to PC and Xbox One September 24th. In Tennis World 2, play as the world's top players or create your own to try and dominate the world rankings. Faster paced with more animations and more realism, experience the true sensations of tennis and singles or doubles games and challenge your friends locally or online. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch September 24th. Troll Hunters, defenders of Arcadia, jump into the world of Troll Hunters as Jim Lake Jr. to stop Porgon the Trickster Troll and his sneaky plans. Team up with Claire and Couch Co-op and also get a helping hand from lots more loved characters to face unknown evil forces and to help stop the time apocalypse. Upgrade your armor, boost your abilities to become more powerful than ever. The fate of the universe is in your hands, guys. This is no joke. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch September 25th. And finally, Mafia Definitive Edition. Remade from the ground up, rise through the ranks of the Mafia during the Prohibition era of organized crime. After a run-in with the mob, cab driver Tommy Angelo is thrust into a deadly underworld. Initially uneasy about falling in with the Salieri crime family, Tommy soon finds that the rewards are too big to ignore. It comes to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Stadia September 25th. That's all the news I got for you this week, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Welcome to Inside Gaming. I'm Brian. It's the Weekend Roundup. You might remember a few years ago, Microsoft went on quite the acquisition binge, nabbing studios like Compulsion Games, Double Fine, In Exile, Ninja Theory, Obsidian, Playground Games, Undead Labs. They were spending money like drunken sailors.